We're doing fine. We haven't been evacuated. Um, we did have a brush fire that just started, a grass fire that just started up um, behind my place, but they got it out right away, thank goodness. And uh, we're just watching nothing because we're so smoked in. We can't even tell. We tell at night that uh, the sun's going down because the, orange, the sky turns orange. Main reason I'm worried is because there's a lot of embers falling everywhere. Uh, when I came out here to let the firefighters know they had to manipulate their trucks to use a different pump, um, I had an ember fall on me. I actually have it in the store. We're looking at it and it's about that long. And uh, this morning when I took my dog out, um, again, there was a piece of wood on the ground that was still smoldering. So to me, no matter where you live in West Kelowna, if you look around, you can see all the dry grass and stuff. It's not going to take much for it to go up. So yeah, I'm, I'm a little worried. Out of the ICP here, we have BC Wildfire Service staff. There's an Ontario Incident Management team here as well. And then we have a structure protection branch being run out of here. We are adjacent to one of the fire halls in the city of West Kelowna. And the structure protection teams are doing really great work out there. The way the weather's been in the last sort of 24 hours here, the smoke has really kept uh, temperatures down a little bit, not a lot, but enough that it's helped reduce the fire behavior a little bit to more rank two, rank three. So that's your smoldering sort of open ground flyer on organized flame front. Um, and it's keeping the solar radiant heat from further drying out the fuels on the ground, which is allowing them to make some really good progress in and around those interface areas. And then we've got wildfire crews supporting them, going direct on the fire's edge where it's safe to do so, extinguishing hot spots, putting in machine guard lines with heavy equipment, working with BC Hydro to reopen access to roads where power poles have come down and extinguish any burning power poles. The RCMP is providing a lot of support as well.